Hi, and welcome to the Zen Beats How-To Series. This episode is going to show you how to use Subtracts. Subtract is a feature for third-party plugins, such as VST and audio units. It's to help you take full advantage of your plugins that have multi-channel MIDI support and multi-channel audio support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multi-channel audio support using the TR-808 drum machine. Let's get started. So if I just press play on this pattern, it works just like a normal plug-in, where all the drum sounds are just going through two channels. By enabling subtracks, I'll be able to split out the bass drum, snare drum, hi-hats, and percussion sounds on their own channels and zen beats. This is going to give me greater mixing flexibility, as I can put different effects on the kick drum, snare drum, hi-hats, etc. To get started, let's go to the 808 and let's explore the options. We're first going to need to tell it that we want to use the extra outputs of the plugin. To do that, click on Options, then click Sub Output. Then let's go ahead and just turn on all the outputs for every drum element in the 808. Now that we've got that done, let's add the subtracks. To do that, select the instrument track, go to the routing menu, and then select Add Subtracks. You'll be asked how many you want to create. I know I need 11 for the 808, so I'll select that and then hit OK. Once you do that, Zenbeats will create the 11 subtracks and handle any multi-channel MIDI and audio routing that it supports. As you can see, it also does it in a linear order from channels 1 to 11. Now let's press play. Now, as you can see, I've got my kick drum on its own channel. I've got my snare drum on its own channel, where I can apply a different filter, drop in an effect. Maybe I can send it to the reverb I have in here. Like I said, total mixing flexibility. A couple of extra quick tips. I have 11 subtracks here. If I want to hide them, I can click the arrow on the parent track here, and they'll all be nested underneath. Any MIDI patterns you add here, you'll get a preview of. So if you wanted to record different patterns on your kick, or your snare, or your hi-hats, or any of those, you'll see a preview of them up here, like so. And of course, you can even trigger playback from there. The last tip, save a track template. It'll remember your instrument settings, and of course all your settings on each subtrack. To do that, just select the Settings button here, and hit Save Track Template. And we'll just call it 808 VST3 Multi. Now, the next time I want to pull up the 808 in a song, I can just import this track template, and all the hard work is done for me. Alright, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.